Today I'm going to talk about how you can extend your reagent testing from two months up to even a year if you wanted to. Welcome back to the channel guys. My name is Paul and today we're going to take a closer look at the Neptune MP Trident system that I currently have. And I've gone through and did a two month test already and so far it's been working really well. I actually have my test unit tested against the HANA checker and they've been pretty much on par with each other with just slight variations from day to day but I can live with that uh, difference in variance. Today what I want to show you is how I'm extending the testing from basically two months up into five months. Theoretically I can go beyond that over a year or I can go under five months but I think five months might be the sweet spot. Shelf life uh, according to the system states about two months uh, but funny enough ABC reagent has kind of created their formula based on the old Neptune uh, system and they created reagents for that older system and they actually pretty much mentioned that there is no expiration on their reagent which leads me to believe there may not be an expiration on the current uh, reagent for the Trident but as I'm not a chemist, I don't know for sure if that is true or not. But if I extend beyond the two months for the NP to three to five months, I think that's still kind of safe. But again, I won't know until running this for the next few months to see what kind of data I get. And then I'll compare that with the HANA for some accuracy testing. So let's take a look at why or at least let's try to understand why one would want to do this. First off, it's about $60 for the two month reagent pack, and that will pretty much get you one test per day. So essentially 60 tests. And in order to expand this out to cover more months, would have to drop the testing per week or per day down to maybe you know once per week twice per week maybe three times per week um and i think the goal for me though is to get it to last about five to six months i think that's the sweet spot to where we can kind of still trust the accuracy of the system again i can't confirm yet until i've ran this for six months but i've just started running this for a few days and i can see that the programming that i have set up will do the trick and I just want to share this with you guys in case you guys wanted to test this along with me. Now, just so you know, you will get a warning that states the testing hasn't been done for 24 hours if you follow my process. But the idea is to only test on certain days and to skip certain days. When I used to do the testing with Hannah, I would do it about twice a week up until I kind of have the routine down. And the routine by my husbandry, the cleaning that I do, along with my feeding schedule. Once I get these two nailed in, it usually stays stable until something changes. For example, if you start getting growth in corals, then you would have to feed more to provide more nutrients for the corals. So for me, if I can get three tests a week, I think that will be great. And that's currently what I am set up to do right now. So let's go ahead and just, I wanna give you an idea of how many months of testing you would get if you run it for X amount of tests per week. So if you were to run this for one test per week, you'll get about one year and three months worth of testing. Again, that's one test per week. If you bump that up to two tests per week, you'll get up to about 7.5 months of testing. If you did three days or three tests per week, That'll get you about five months worth of testing. Four tests per week would be about three and three quarters month of testing or three months and three weeks. If you bump that up to five tests per week, that'll get you about three months of testing. Six tests per week will get you about two and a half months of testing. And of course, seven tests per week will get you about two months of testing. All right, so let me jump over to my computer and let me show you what I've got in terms of programming. All right, so before we go there, I did have to use 
chat GPT because that was the easiest for me to try to get the information that I need. You can probably do that yourself as well. Just go to chat GPT and put in any questions that you may have related to programming. I did that here. If you could look here, I just talked about the Apex Fusion programming based on the DOW, which I knew that DOW command existed, but I just want more information on that so I can confirm how I can program my unit. So I did ask about programming right here and ChatGPT went through and gave me information on how to connect. And then at the very bottom here, it gave me instructions on how to run this statement or this command. And basically you run it by injecting if DOW and then these letters here, which represents the day of the week. So S for Sunday, M for Monday, T Tuesday, W Wednesday, then T again for Thursday, R for Friday, and S for Saturday. And then they give me an example here of how to use it if I wanted to turn something on. Uh, so basically this gives me all that I need, but the main one is this right here. So if you look at this, it says fall back off, set off, then gives me the time of when the unit will run. And then I'm gonna reverse and say, hey, based on the day of the week for these days, don't let this unit run. So in order to get this programmed, check out the link above on how to figure out your module and how to figure out how to get to the specific URL for your unit so that you can program this. But for mine, I know what it is already on the module in terms of the outlet. So I know exactly what the URL is. And this URL is actually not public and is not made known. So you have to really search for it. But check out the link above again. That video will show you exactly how you would access your module and the output of your Trident or Trident NP. And then from there, you can actually go in to program it. All right, so for my unit, I'm gonna to go to, of course, Apex Fusion. I'm gonna to go to my unit. I'm just gonna click on an outlet here and any one of them. And I know what my URL is already or my module and my port. So I'm gonna go directly there. And if you look at this here, I've already got it set up. By default, this is what you're gonna see in here, okay? Now again, you're not gonna see this in the app or there's, there's no direct link to this. So you have to follow the instructions on the video that I have linked above. That'll get you to this link here, at least figure, help you figure out the URL so you can get to this link. And from here, you can program it to whatever you need it to do. For me, by default, it's telling me that this is the time where this unit is gonna run, and the Trident MP runs once a day. It runs right here, it kicks off at noon, and then it turns off afterwards. But I added one more command in here. That is this one right here. If DOW, then I have the S here, the T here, T here, and the S here, then off. Basically what that is saying is that for these days, I want the unit to not run. So it's working in reverse. Hopefully that makes sense for you. But the first command here says to run, then looks at the next command, but only on these days, which is every other day, which is these dashes here, every other day, except for Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. So for those four days, it's not gonna run. And what it's saying here is it's gonna run Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, okay? So if you have the command set up just exactly as what I have here, then it's gonna run Monday, Wednesday, and Friday for you. You can adjust this however you want to. If you wanna include Sunday as a testing day, then that's how you would do that. So when it looks at this, DOW command, it's going to run on Sunday, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. But for me, I do want it to not run on Sunday. This will give me three tests per week, and that's what I like to test for the moment. Then all I have to do is just upload this to your system. It's going to take it right in. There's no problem, at least for my end. 
I've tried it other ways and this seems to be the only method that will work. For me personally, I think I'm going to give this a try to see if it'll save me a little money to see if it's even worth the hassle. But testing three times a day, I think that is kind of like the sweet spot. So I get about uh, three times a, a week, actually, I'm sorry, not a day, three times a week will give me about five months worth of testing. Um, I could extend that out if I did two tests per week to, uh, I could extend that out to seven and a half months. But I think three tests per week will be the sweet spot to just try this out to see if it works. Then I would just probably have to buy reagent twice or three times a year, depending on where I'm at uh, in terms of the testing. All right, guys, that is it for this video. I just want to drop this out to show you what I have going on in terms of my Neptune Trident NP. And I'm going to be running this for the next few months to see if the accuracy is still there and to see if I can save some money along the way. If you're looking to do the same thing as well, drop it down in the comments section below and let me know if you're going to do this and when you're starting or if you're already doing this, let me know your progress and how accurate this is so far. Again, if you find this video helpful, feel free to subscribe as that really helps me out. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Again, share with your friends. And I appreciate you stopping by and watching to the very end. Guys, I will see you in the next video. Thanks.